11th of March 2011. A nuclear power station in Fukushima, Japan, explodes into a ball of smoke after a devastating earthquake. The fear of poisonous radiation leaking into the atmosphere becomes a very real possibility. The prospect of nuclear meltdown was back on the world's agenda. Nuclear power is not so different from fossil fuel, where the fuel is burnt to generate heat. This intense heat rapidly turns water in a tank into steam, which is pressurised to move a turbine and generate electricity. The steam is then cooled so it can be reheated by the fossil fuel, creating a cycle for continuous electricity. Nuclear power, on the other hand, is fuelled by rods of radioactive material immersed in water, also generating heat and turning water to steam. Because the radiation produced can be harmful to humans, the power station is housed in a protective structure. Nuclear reactions occur when a neutron particle collides with uranium or plutonium. This reaction splits the atom in two, producing more neutrons, harmful radiation, and excess energy as heat. Each neutron produced can spark more reactions, so a multiplier effect can cause a chain reaction and increasing amounts of energy are released. This reaction is what occurs in the fuel rods of a nuclear power plant. These rods have enough energy to last for a couple of years before they need replacing, so do not quickly burn out like other fuels. The rate of the fuel is controlled using neutral control rods, which absorb some neutrons and lessen the effect of the chain reaction. When the earthquake struck Japan, the nuclear plant endured. However, the water cooling system lost power. With all backup systems offline, the water got hotter, heating to critical temperatures. Increasing heat in a confined space causes greater and greater pressure on the outer walls, which engineers tried to release as gas. This hydrogen gas filled the reactor building. Being highly flammable, it quickly erupted in a gigantic explosion, damaging the radiation defences and the water tank. As the nuclear rods were still reacting and producing heat, they needed to be cooled quickly. Seawater was urgently pumped in, but the intense heat caused the fuel unit to melt, exposing the highly toxic source and emitting radioactive waves. Although the extent of the damage is presently unclear, poisonous radiation is being expelled large distances from the power station and may yet prove a very serious problem for Japan.